Big things are happening at Tesla Giga Berlin. More Tesla products are coming in the pipeline at Giga Berlin and the first suppliers are already there at Giga Berlin. In this report, I'm going to tell you what happens after the Tesla opening at Giga Berlin in and around Grünheide where Tesla's factory is located. Also, tomorrow I'm expecting a report, which I will report on Monday, of what's happening at Giga Berlin on the ground as our friends will have new drone videos and we will see whether Giga Berlin is shipping from um to, uh, to its new owners. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily breaking Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. After Tesla handed over the first cars from its Grünheide factory to customers this Tuesday, the company now wants to expand its plant further. There is still a long way to go before mass production. If you remember, the 30 Model Y electric vehicles delivered on Tuesday had more symbolic value. In order to be able to attack the European electric car market properly, Tesla must start mass production at its Grünheide plant as quickly as possible at Giga Berlin. As early as October last year, Elon Musk described this as a real challenge. He said starting production isn't that important. Mass production is the hard part. It's an awful lot of work and we need a lot of talented, hardworking people to pull it off. It's super difficult. It, I can't stress that enough. He explained um, then uh, back in October. In fact, we don't, we're not surprised because we see that Tesla, like I reported earlier, which you're about to see probably today, is that Tesla released a video inviting more people to work for Tesla Giga Berlin. So Tesla will have to keep hiring diligently. A good 3,000 plus people uh, currently work in Grünheide. However, Tesla needs at least 10,000 employees for mass production. Tesla also wants to set up a second production line this year in 2022, then hundreds of thousands of Teslas could roll off the assembly line in the coming year. But not only cars are to be built in East Brandenburg, Tesla is also building a battery factory that is scheduled to start later this year. And Elon Musk gave a hint on Tuesday about other products that could possibly also be made in Grünheide. What are those? We will also be making storage devices. This will be very important to enable storage of renewable energy, Elon said. He also said, we're extremely confident that the world can transition to a sustainable energy future with a combination of solar, wind storage, and electric cars that take billionaire of Tesla underscored last Tuesday. And more Tesla products are coming in the pipeline. This means that mega batteries may soon also be available as power storage devices for the home made in Grünheide, made at Giga Berlin. Tesla has also announced plans to add battery recycling factories to all of its locations. And that's not all. After all, Tesla also wants to produce other parts in Grünheide, such as bumpers, which are currently being delivered. But not only Tesla still has some challenges ahead. The region is also in demand, says Martin Kornick from the German Institute for Economic Research, RBB, Brandenburg's public radio reports. For the region, the work is only just beginning because not only is a car to be produced that comes off the assembly line there at Grünheide, but the region also wants to establish itself technologically as an electromobility center in Europe. Keep in mind, electric, uh, actually car production in Europe uh, is mainly focused in Bavaria, in southern Germany. Tesla Giga Berlin is changing the lo uh, location, changing the geography to Berlin area in uh, rather north of Bavaria. And now they want to be the technological center of electromobility in Europe. And first suppliers are already there. Above all, this requires suppliers, right? Some are already there. For example, BASF in Schweiz or Rocktech Lithium in Guben. In order for more to come, more suppliers to come for Tesla and Giga Berlin or for electromobility production near Berlin, Brandenburg must quickly provide more commercial land and sufficient water. Get that water issue fixed. Bring more pipeline, friends. If you want more co companies, come and not worry about um, uh, water and uh, 
uh, environmentalists complaining. But the first steps have already been taken on Brandenburg's path to become an electromobility location. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TokNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily, daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let's move on to see what is coming from Tesla. A few days ago, we witnessed the grand opening of Tesla's Giga Berlin factory and the handover of first 30 vehicles by Elon Musk to the first owners, Model Y owners, built at Giga Berlin. Now, how is the production going to ramp up? How many cars will Tesla build and produce in at Tesla Giga Berlin? Automotor and Sport from Germany assumes that shortly after the start of production on Tuesday, 1,000 vehicles per week and the first half of 2022, already 30,000 Model Y electric vehicles um, performance version will be produced at Grünheide. And we know that at full capacity, Tesla says it wants to produce up to half a million vehicle a year in Germany. So we're going to take a look at some of the details and some of the numbers of how Tesla is going to ramp up the production and what happens next. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage. So Jürgen, who tweets at Giga Berlin, Giga Factory Berlin Brandenburg on Twitter and has been providing daily information on Giga Berlin, has some new facts about Giga factory Berlin. He says in his today's tweet that currently about 3,500 employees are working here. A couple of days ago last week it was 2,600. Now it looks like Tesla added about 900 more employees at Giga Berlin because Tesla's hiring agencies are actively working and hiring people for Giga Berlin. So Jürgen says currently about 3,500 employees are working there at Giga Berlin. He says look at this. Stamping produces a body part in 20 seconds like every 20 seconds a new tesla model y performance body part is produced by stamping is do you guys know how to interpret this does that mean that tesla is building new car every 20 seconds this doesn't look like that right so um but if you know how to interpret it may be different body parts and i don't know how many body parts are used for one entire body i believe the latest i heard was uh two rear and front but i don't know if you have any ideas what this could mean stamping produces a body part in 20 seconds let me know friends in the comment section below you're gonna also says 400 robots assemble the body in BIW building. BIW is body in white. And he says second body production line, body production line is under construction. And he says water consumption per vehicle is 2.2 cubic meters. Now don't confuse with the second whole entire production line. He, uh, Jürgen says, uh, it may sound a little misleadingly worded. He says there is a second body line line under construction. The water consumption remains again 2.2 uh, uh, cubic meters. Now, friends, what is interesting is that uh, we know that a couple of days ago on March 22nd, Tesla boss Elon Musk personally handed over the first 30 Model Y vehicles, performance version, I believe, produced at Giga Berlin to their new owners. They were given a detailed tour of the factory beforehand they could request a song for the handover of their car and then celebrate the opening with invited guests in, in fact you know what happened a couple of days ago when i was reporting this handover i used one of the tesla videos and uh, the song was requested obviously with one of the owners and when i was posting that video to youtube youtube thought it was copyrighted then i had to dispute it saying look i didn't use this on myself it i'm i'm reporting on an event and this video was there so this is part of that that they were given a detailed tour of the factory before and and they could request a song for their handover and i think one of these persons selected a song from the uh, 80s uh, incidentally only the top model y performance um, was going to be built at grunheide at the start now this gigafactory is 
eight months late from the previous schedule. The fourth Tesla Gigafactory is also the company's first production site of electric vehicles in Europe and its most advanced, sustainable and efficient factory to date. Now remember that they had Tesla had a production site, actually it was an assembly site in Netherlands. I think it was, it still has for model as assembly line. Uh, they just assemble their cars, not produce, but this is the Giga Berlin is Tesla's first production Gigafactory in Europe. The Gigafactory Berlin is the fifth major Tesla production facility worldwide alongside the plant in Fremont, California and the Gigafactories in Reno, Nevada, Buffalo, New York and Shanghai, China. I think in Buffalo they don't make cars, they only make solar panels. Although Tesla was unable to keep the start of production of Giga Berlin originally planned for July 2021, the new factory was built in record time. After the announcement of November 2019, the construction phase began in spring 2020. The Giga factory combines several production units on its 300 hectare site with a total area of more than 227,000 square meters. Now, let's take a look at what production ramp will look like at Giga Berlin, at least in the first half of 2022. I stress the first half of 2022 because as the production numbers improve, Tesla new employees learn how to build cars faster and better. The numbers are going to continue to change and I'm going to report on that. This is why please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla breaking news, friends. So according to Tesla, at full capacity, up to 12,000 employees will produce cars, battery cells, batteries, electric motors, plastic parts, seats, and axles at Giga Berlin. The factory currently employs, like I said, 3,000 plus uh, 400 or so people and has produced plenty of pre-series Model Ys. In recent weeks, these were not for sale. These were for testing or for demo purposes. Or I once reported that company can use them inside the premises of Giga Berlin for their needs. So they called it trial operation at Tesla because the final operating permit had not yet been issued at the time. In the first half of 2022, 30,000 vehicles are expected to leave the factory. So think of 30,000 vehicles until July 1st from Giga Berlin. Not only Tesla fans around the world are particularly excited about the quality of the vehicles that come from the German Giga factory, expectations are high in this respect, with an expected annual production capacity of 500 vehicles. It was unclear until the end whether the regional water supplier would be allowed to supply a gigafactory uh, water at all, but on March 4, the administrative court in Frankfurt rejected the approval of the water pumping at the Eggerstorf Foundation for formal reason. Now, here's what I'm going to decide. Uh, look with you. Uh, from now, we are in the uh, end of March. We have April, June, April, uh, May, June. Three months. In three months, Tesla is expected to build 30,000 vehicles. This means Tesla is expected to build about uh, 10,000 vehicles in one month. This means Tesla is probably building, what, 300 vehicles each day and selling 300 vehicles each day. So look, the first day there was 30 vehicle handovers and, and now Tesla should be getting up to 300, 333 vehicles each day on an average to make 10, uh, 30,000 vehicles by the mid of 2022. Do you think these numbers are good? How can they ex uh, impact Tesla? Let me know, friends, in your comment section. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel and stay with us for daily Tesla news. I have more reports coming later today. God bless you, everyone. Peace be to the world and to all of us, to our hearts. And have a blessed day. See you soon in our next report.